rigged. Uh, hey, uh, who's playing? The Amazon Queen versus the masked bimbo. <laughs> Bimbo ate canvas. I didn't miss some leather queen, did I? No, no, no. She's coming up in the tag team round. <laughs> hey, everybody, can we turn on the Disney special? Yeah, sure, if they're featuring scantily clad women rolling around in the mud, fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's the Disneyland special, the 35th anniversary. No, uh, no interest here. What are you... Sorry. Boring, boring. Hey, wait a second. Everybody loves Disney, and Tony Maselli's hosting. Who? You know, the star of Who's the Boss? That's not his name, Woody. That's his character's name. Right. His real name is Tony Banta. <laughs> That's just the name of the character he played on Taxi. Mm. Well, we know his name is Tony. Okay, all right, so let's turn on. It's that Tony guy. It's Disneyland, you know, the happiest place on Earth. Woody, I don't think Mickey, Goofy, and Cinderella are going to be able to compete with the knockout girls of wrestling in this crowd. Well, Cinderella, maybe. She was an attractive woman. Yeah, you know, Cliff, for years, I agree with you. I thought Cinderella was the most beautiful Disney heroine, but... Uh, now I think I gotta go with the Little Mermaid. I mean, she is a redhead. Well, to me, there's no question. I'll tell you, the most beautiful Disney character of them all, bar none, is Snow White. Skin white as snow, hair black as night, lips red as blood. Wait a minute, I married her. With a little wicked queen thrown in just for fun. Yeah, no, you can have your princesses, but uh, I've always been posh to Lady, Lady the Champ. Cliff, Lady is a dog. Yeah, she may have been a dog, but she was no dog. I mean, those eyelashes. I'm sure a strand of spaghetti with her any time. Yes, Disneyland is a magical place. I remember the time me and two of my friends went to Disneyland. I was 10 years old, and it was the greatest day of my life. In fact, it was the day that Disneyland first opened. My mom dropped us oh, off. Wait, wait and... Woody. Disneyland is celebrating its 35th birthday. The day that it opened, you had not yet been born. Oh, no, no. It was the opening day, all right. There were people everywhere with these special Mickey Mouse-shaped balloons. They have those every day. Yeah, but do they have a parade down Main Street every day? Yes. With fireworks? <laughs> Listen to this. I know it was the first day because every flower in every garden in the whole park was blooming and there was not a piece of trash anywhere. But what are you, Disneyland is always like that. But Mickey Mouse was there and he actually shook my hand. <laughs> we, we've all met him. They're there all the time. Mickey, Minnie... Donald, Goofy, they're all there. Goofy? Yeah. You mean Goofy? Yeah. yeah. What's he really like? Oh, a great big guy. Gotta have a size 16 shoe, I think. I believe it. All this time, I thought my experience was so special, and now I find out it's just plain old everyday stuff. Everyone who goes out to Disneyland meets Mickey and sees a parade and goes to the haunted house and falls in love with the girl of their dreams in a dark corridor. And... Oh, wait a second, buddy. What's this dark corridor stuff? Huh. I remember it as if it was yesterday. Me and my friends had been on almost every ride that day, all right? I mean, every one that we were tall enough for. And now it was time for the Haunted Mansion. Come on, Woody, let's go. Gosh, I don't know. We're going to have to leave pretty soon. We haven't done the teacups yet. The teacups? What a wuss. I'm not a wuss. The teacups are kind of scary. Well, Woody, we're going in. Oh, hi. 
coming on the ride? Uh, yeah, sure, I'm just a second. You're cute when you're scared. Me scared? You kidding? I'm not scared, no siree. Not me. I'm not scared. I'm scared. I'll go with you. You will? Sure, I've been on it lots of times. It's a piece of cake. Hey, tall, dog, and ugly. We're looking for a two-seater hardtop. Oh, yes, I've got just the one with very low mileage. Are you sure these things are safe? Oh, yes, I'm sure. Dead sure. <laughs> from somewhere beyond. Goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken the spirits with your tambourine. With them? That was <laughs> silly with me. Ah! Fun, huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? No, I always cry at weddings. Well, maybe just a little. I really had a nice time. I really want you to meet my two friends and my mom. You two get along great. Maybe next week we can. Woody, are you okay? That was scary. Woody, we're sorry we made you go on that ride alone. That's okay. It was a piece of cake.
What a beautiful story. So your dream girl was a ghost all along? A ghost? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you're right. <laughs> now, now admit it, we loved Woody's story. Which proves that we're all just big kids at heart. Yeah, but only one of us is a big kid at brain. Mm. All right, come on, can we watch Disney now? Sure, yeah, go ahead, sure, yeah. Isn't this a riot today? Oh, it certainly is. And, Ron, you, your first job is down here in the town square. Uh, well, uh, right out here in front of the depot, yes, for the main street and the parade and so forth. We have lots to do. Get busy. Okay. So long, Ron. Thanks for coming out. And a privilege to join with you as we rededicate one of America's treasures, a place that has captured the imagination and earned the affection of four generations of Americans, and a place that has served as host and goodwill ambassador to millions of visitors from abroad. Disneyland exemplifies the essence of the American spirit and continues to show us the way to follow our dreams however big or small. Folks, I'm Michael Eisner. We're just waiting for the host of our show, Tony Danza. Uh, he should be here any moment now. Hi, folks. How are you today? Hi. Oh. You didn't happen to see Tony Danza, did you? No. Have you been to Disneyland before? Oh, yes. In fact, I have a snapshot of our first visit. Christine Graff and Michael Schwartner. You were the first guest 35 years ago on this very spot. Now, that is impressive. Hey, Michael. Well, Tony, come on. Whoops, I gotta go introduce our host. Have a good time at Disneyland. Stand here around. Oh, there he is. Uh, Tony. Oh, hi, Michael. Hi, Tony. Come on over here. We want to introduce you. And lose my place in line? Come on, this is, this is the Jungle Cruise, man. My favorite ride. <laughs> Goofy, could you go stand in line for Tony so he can come over here? Oh, uh, go. Don't lose my place, all right? Okay, hey, Mike. Hi, Tony. Michael. Nice to see you. You know, I've been waiting outside for you. It's time to start our 35th anniversary celebration. Well, I, I sort of lost track of time. I've been on Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, the Matterhorn, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Great, great, great. You know what? I'm glad we now caught up with you, and it's a real pleasure having you host our show. It's a dream come true for me, too, Michael, because I grew up with this stuff. It's like I'm a kid all over again. Well, have fun, and as they say, take it away. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. On this grand occasion, we recognize that this place called Disneyland has come to symbolize more than just a locale of mere amusement. Hey, Tony, it's your turn. Oh, gotta go, folks. It's Jungle Cruise time. All right. All right, thanks, Goof. Okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Jungle Cruise. I'm your guide, Coconut Charlie. Folks, please come in, sit down. Sit down on both sides so we get a nice balanced load. That way, if we go down, we go down nice and even. <laughs> Is everybody ready? We're out of here. Okay. Oh, by the way, we run this ship according to strict naval tradition, which means the captain goes down with his ship. So at this point, I'd like to introduce your new captain. Excuse me, sir, what'd you say your name was? Uh, Tony. Tony, all right, Captain Tony, welcome aboard. Okay, everybody, turn around now, wave goodbye to the people at the dock, come on! This could be the last time you ever see them again. All right, 
right, this is very good. Coming up here, we have a very rare species, the rare hornbill. <laughs> Apparently about to become slightly more rare. <laughs> Over here, we got Smiley. This is the friendliest crocodile along the whole river. All day long, he just floats around waiting for a handout. Sir, help me out with a little demonstration. Just reach over there, give him a little pet on the schnozola. Come on, reach out. Just a little further. A little further. Come on, reach. Uh, uh, sir? Excuse me, sir. Come on, not now, all right? I'm guiding. Through this archway, we got the remains of the sunken city. Now it's almost totally reclaimed by the jungle. Over here, we got four king cobras. These are the most poisonous day. Wait a minute. This is very strange. There's only three of them. Oh, there he is. <laughs> For a second, I was getting worried. Uh, Coconut Charlie, uh... Hold your questions to the end of the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Up here, we got the ferocious Bengal tiger. This is an amazing beast, capable of jumping 20 feet through the air. But don't worry, we are perfectly safe. We're only 10 feet away. He'll jump right over the boat. This is Ganesha. Ganesha is the god of the Indian elephants. It's his job to guard the entrance to the sacred pool where the Indian elephants bathe. Makes sense, don't it? Are we in luck or what? Look at this. This is where the elephants come to bathe and squirt each other with water. Now, if any of you have a camera, you may want to take a little picture. Please don't be embarrassed. They all have their trunks on. I particularly like this one because it's so rare you see an elephant sitting down. Here's a cute little baby elephant. Hey there, little baby! Now, there's a big bull elephant that was loose here just the other day. Hopefully, we're not going to see him because they're very dangerous, the large bulls. Uh-oh. He looks like he's going to squirt at us. Don't worry, nobody ever gets wet in my boat. Isn't that refreshing? In this area, we got 137 different varieties of rare tropical plants. I like to point a few out to you right now. There's uh, one over there, one over there, a couple over there. Does anybody know the names of these plants? It's probably something Latin, huh? African plants named for Latin. Go figure. Coming up here, we got a monkey, a lizard, and some fruit. <laughs> And here we have the beautiful Schweitzer Falls, named after that famous African explorer, Dr. Falls. I'm going to get a little closer. You got trouble. Mean right. Mean right. Mean right. Mean right. Hey, you pay your nickel, you take your chances. All right, we have an example here now of African wildlife. You got zebras, you got baboons, you got giraffes. Over here, we have a family of lions made friends with a zebra. Look, they're having them for dinner. All right, we're coming up on a pool of dangerous hippopotami. Now, one of these beasts could upset the entire boat, which would more than likely upset everybody in the boat. But don't worry, there's nothing to fear. The natives say they're not dangerous unless they wiggle their ears and blow bubbles. Uh-oh, we got trouble. Hang on, hang on. Let that be a lesson to you. Everybody be quiet. This is dangerous territory. Not a very good place to be headed. Over here, we got an example of native arts and crafts. That's art at the top of the pile. I used to work with the guy. 
This is Trey to Sam. He's the head salesman around here, but business has been shrinking lately. So he's having a two for one sale. Two of his heads for one of yours. All right, folks, looks like we may have a little trouble up here, all right? Remember, if you get hit with a spear, throw it back, because we're not allowed to keep souvenirs. <laughs> That'll teach him. Over here, we got what you call a very big snake. Jolly. Jolly. I said, hold your questions to the end of the ride. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Thanks, Charlie. You saved my life. I'm just doing my job. And now for the most dangerous part of the ride, the return to civilization and the California freeway. Oh, oh, the Jungle Cruise. What an adventure. Attach diode 52 to radius cable 3. Establish high frequency bias connection with satellite 5 in sector Q368. Excellent. Oh, I can't wait to see Miss Piggy. She is on location in Europe shooting her new film. Now, don't blow a circuit, Artu. Gonzo should be on screen any moment now. But look at the time. Huh? I'm most concerned about the absence of our host, Tony Danza. What could be keeping him? <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> C-3PO, how are you? I'm so pleased to see you, Master Tony. We have completed the location satellite uplink, so you may communicate with your next guest. I'm sorry I'm late, but I promised them they could meet Miss Piggy. Quite, sir. I'm afraid you have cut it rather close. You now have just three Earth seconds to prepare, so please address your attention to the viewing screen immediately. Oh, okay. <sighs> hey, Gonzo! Oh, hi, Tony! Hey, we're ready for you. Come on, follow me. Miss Piggy! It's me, Gonzo. Get lost, creep. But, but Miss Piggy... Look, I am waiting to be interviewed by Tony Danza. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Mr. Danza is right there on the satellite. Tony! Oh, you cute little extremely muscular thing. How are you? Miss Piggy, it's great to see you. I'm fine. I'm fine, too, if anybody cares. Miss Piggy, do you have any special memories of Disneyland? Nope. Why? Well, Miss Piggy, this is Disneyland's 35th anniversary special. Oh, 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 yes, Tony. I do remember one summer that was to have a profound and lasting effect on my career and extreme famousness. Oh, really? Hard as this may be to believe, there was a time before I realized that my destiny was to be adored by millions of fans. No. It's true. I was like any other child. This is so cool. Wow. What should we do first? Well, let's go shopping on Main Street, then have a bite to eat, and do some more shopping. Well, I want to go on the ride. Yeah. There are rides here? Yeah. in life. I hear destiny calling. Oh. Who? Hey, how about a balloon? Hey, what's up?
What's the matter? You don't like balloons? I got a mouse balloons right here. Right here, I got a leg one. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. How do I get a job around here? And what kind of job do you want? Oh, the one where you wear the beautiful gowns and ride in the coach and everyone stares at you adoringly. That's not a job, that's a Cinderella. Only Cinderella can be Cinderella. Oh, well, look, did you have anything that's close to the Cinderella thing? Hey, wait a minute, you see a lock. They got a job opening at the castle. Oh, I take it, I take it, I take it! Hey, you want a balloon or what? Hmm. Well, they may have a job at the castle, he says. Oh, hello. You must be the new maid. Hmm. Hello, you must be the new maid. Oh, well, I'd love to stay and chat with you, but my public awaits. Hmm. Sure. Here I am scrubbing the floor while Cinderella goes off to be adored and admired. Oh, I wish I could be Cinderella. Whoa, sorry. Landings aren't my specialty. Who are you? Why, I am your fairy god, uh, Thing, and I am here to grant you three wishes. <gasps> I hope you people are getting the parallel story structure here. Oh, fairy god, uh, Thing. I want to be Cinderella and be admired for my great beauty. Are you serious? Don't you know you're a pig? Hey, listen, buzzard beak. Leave my nose out of this. But, uh, I wish your nose would just blow up. Wow, look what you did. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I wish I hadn't said that. Aw, oh, gee. I kind of like my nose like that. Well, you have one more wish left. Why don't you wish my other nose back? I think it gave me class. Oh, I, I wish you'd be more serious. That was your third wish. Here is your receipt. Goodbye. Hold it, Billy uh, Brain. Uh, you are going uh, to get me one more wish so I can be uh, Cinderella. Uh, Comprendo? I can't give you any more wishes. It's the rule. Besides, you broke my wand. Oh. We'll do this my way, but you are going to help. Come on. Hello. Well, have a good time, OK? Bye-bye. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you today? Oh, hello. How are you today? Hi. Fine, are you having? Oh, my fairy godmother made this for me. Do you like it? Gonzo! Either of you ladies ever date outside your species? Gonzo! From Detroit, you say? Ha, what a small world. My uncle's a carburetor. Gonzo, now! Oh. Gonzo! Uh, sorry, Piggy. Gonzo! Uh, Want to go someplace quieter? What part am I playing? The little boy, the little, little boy. boy. Good, okay. oh, excuse me, excuse <laughs> me. Yes? Uh, excuse me, but could you help us? This little boy is lost. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Of course I'll help you. I'll even take you to the lost and found myself. Oh, cool. Oh, young lady, will you please tell them to start the parade without me? Oh, oh do not worry. I've got everything under control. Summer, I learned that fate had chosen moi to spend moi's life being worshipped and adored by the masses. Thank you. See, that's a great story, Miss Piggy, but just one question. What happened to the real Cinderella? Who? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> Gosh, Gonzo, I wonder where your parents are. Never mind them. Let's talk about us. Is this thing with you and the prince serious? I mean, can you see other people? Hmm? Hey, hey! Did anyone ever tell you you have great nostrils? <laughs> oh. 
Welcome back. Behind me is Splash Mountain, the park's newest attraction. This is Walt Disney's dream in action. Children of all ages enjoying the laughter and thrills of Disneyland. You know, 36 years ago, Walt looked over this land and saw not 200 acres of dusty orange groves, but the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, part of America, yet a land all of its own. <laughs> Disneyland, reflecting our times, yet somehow timeless. <laughs> Disneyland, rooted in tradition, yet destined never, never to be completed. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Is this Disneyland? Yeah. It is. I got him, Vern. Uh, is this Mickey or Goofy? Uh, no, no, no. This is Tony. Tony Danza. Oh, hey, Tony, baby. <laughs> it's me, Ernest. <laughs> Ernest? Ernest who? Hey, look, pal, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of Disney's 35th anniversary special. Are you in luck? Listen, I just happen to have some old home movies of me and Pop on our first trip to Disneyland. And these films have more memories than the fourth grade's got spitballs. Know what I mean? Kill the lights, Fern. We're ready. Hello from Disneyland. <laughs> That's me and Pop in the yes, parking lot. That's me on the right. Well, come on, Ernie. We've got to catch that tram for the Magic Kingdom. That mouse is waiting on us. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that, Ern, your shoes untied. Take care of Mr. Feet, and Mr. Feet will take care of you. But you know, feet were important even back then. Why, yes, sir, the feet are the very key to a bipod's existence. Why, if it wasn't for feet, we'd all just be big meat plants. Popping around and taking care of color pop. We'd be buying feet for city shoes. Yes, sir, the, the feet are the key to a bipedic existence. Hoops! 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 Well, Ernie, awful lot of breath. If a tram ride excites you that much, I'm afraid for you to ride this other stuff. We saw it all, Vern. Everything I'd ever dreamed about. But the best was my first time behind the wheel in Autopia. That's kind of a grade school hot rodder's nirvana. Know what I mean? Well, you've lost us somewhere here, boy. You're supposed to take a left here on the Santa Ana Freeway or Santa Fe. Maybe that's it. I don't know. You know, I had a license for 45 years. Back then, we didn't have photos on our license. Now, we just put the pedal to the metal. Yes, sir. We had to have artists draw our pictures on our license. Had to carry a wallet as big as Life magazine. Huh? I know Pop's sure in trouble. Where's the fire, Sonny? I hope, sir, I never saw this boy before in my life. I would, uh, he kidnapped me. I was hitchhiking and he kidnapped me and took me on a high-speed chase through Pacoima. Hey, have a nice day. Thank you, officer. Well, now you have done it, you little hoodlum. You'll never get insurance now. This is how a life of crime begins. Next thing you know, you'll be going to jail or something. Well, we've got nothing to lose now. We might as well try to outrun them. Ow! So after that, Pops had it in his mind to ride horses. So he bought me a Disney dog with extra mustard, and we saddled up a couple of wild Mustangs. Did you a big old knock of that. There you go. You know, boy, protein is like rain. You just don't know how good it is until later. There you go. Yep, it gave me an all new respect for beef byproducts, know what I mean? Pops, he didn't have a Disney dog, because he had a hankering for something fresh. Secret to that fly fishing is your technique. And see if you can't get that little fly on there for me. Yes, sir, I remember one time, I caught a 200-pound marlin in a stream just exactly like that. You got it? Ah! Well, good. All right, here it goes. Oh, I got one, Ernie. Oh, and it's a big one. That's a great bite or something like that. I don't know. And they got away. Took the line. I wish you'd have been here, Ernie. You could have pulled him in. 
And then we saw the mighty Matterhorn. One time me and Bent Midler and Edmund Hillary climbed way up on that Matterhorn freehand. And Bent Midler got way ahead of us because she just had that nail hardener put on. Yeah, she got way up there above that tree line. I just got a little butter on my glasses. You know, a lot of things seem to confuse Pop, and landscaping was no exception. All right, up, up. Now stay. You know, Ernie, I used to train these animals for a living. And they'll just sit motionless like this for hours for a, for a ham sandwich with cheese. Yes, sir. You know, you're not supposed to feed these, Ernie, but I don't think anybody's looking right now. And that's it. That's good. There you Come go. Come on, Pops. Come on. Okay. Huh? You moved. Come on, Pop. Come on. Yes, sir. They, they, these maze rides just wear me out. Ah, sharp curve. Ah, there you go. Yes, sir. Tell you what, Ernie, you're, you're real lucky you had me along. These mazes are a snap for me. Hey, Pop, let's get something to drink. No, I'll tell you. Let's go get something to drink. And... Ah, oh, here's that tricky part again. No, I'll tell you. Why, why don't we just rest and first and get us something to drink? Where did that? Well, maybe that's it. I don't know. Oh, well, I'll tell you, I sure have worked up a thirst. And you know a feller could die a thirst trying to operate one of these things. Well, I'll tell you, what's wrong? That little hole there needs to be widened just a little bit. Let me see. Well, that ought to do it. There you go. You know, they used to hold a whole lot more than that. <coughs> Show me pictures, Ernie. No, thank you. I got it. Well, all right. For some reason, Pop was still thirsty, so this time we went for a cup of tea. Yeah, no, Ernie, I used to date that old bag over there in the next teacup until I found out she voted for Coolidge. How about another cup of tea? Sure. Could you bring the boy another cup of tea? And a little extra cream and sugar? You having a good time, Ernie? Yeah, well, me too. That's it. Turn on the lights. Well, come on, Vern. We've got to wrap this film and get it off to Tony Pronto. Know what I mean? Come on. Give me some help. Come on, Vern, help. Help me out here. Come on, Vern, help. Do something. And now, singing a Disney classic, here are DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Even though the 
is one word or letter any better than any other word or letter. It's the way that you say it. Now a word is like a game, so don't say it, play it. Now here's a word that you can play with, mister. Family fun, cause it's a real tough twist. So you can make up games with words and names. Games will never be the same, cause they always change. Like saying it backwards. I can do it. It's Docious Alley Expiacic Fragile Calarupus. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Until your tongue, until your ear, the word is very delicious. And the next half, expialidocious. If you say it real loud, it makes you sound precocious. And the first half, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. We're all having fun and you don't want to miss this. Expialidocious. Let's take an undiddly break. Hum-dilly-dilly-dilly, hum-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-dilly-d